Okay, y'all. Yeah. 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 So guys, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. Um it's my honey's birthday today. So before we run around, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do dreadlocks because you know, I actually used to do dreads when I first started doing hair. I'm telling you, I used to do everything. So I'm gonna show you guys how I twist it up. So this may help someone. And I figure it'd be cool. And I'm gonna show you guys that it should not take all day. That's for show. So I'm about to turn the camera around. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use because I'm just using what's at the beauty supply store because that's what we have. And I'm gonna show you guys. I've been twisting Top's hair since what? For a long time. And then I got tired of doing it, so I sent him to Allison. I'm homesick and you and this just cheered me up. Hey Melva. Um, yeah, so hang out with me, ask any questions you like. I'll be reading the comments as I'm twisting, and we're about to have a little twist lock party. And I'm about to get my nails done, so don't try me about my nails. Okay. So I'm um, in the back. He just shampooed his hair. He used the Design Essentials. Um Design Essentials. What was that? The natural one. Mm -hmm. Natural, yeah. Okay, so now what I like to do. My favorite to use. Yes, I love this. Okay, let me just tell you something. People have done his hair, and they use stuff, and I'd be like, mm-mm, it just don't look right. So what I like to do is, turn this way for me, sorry, and then tilt. There we go. I like to just kind of get like a, a, a section of the hair, like get the product in the hair. And what I like about this stuff is it doesn't flake. And so basically, I just go clean. I can't see because I got this dang ring light. There we go. Hopefully y'all can see. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So pulling it long so that it doesn't have like um, those little, they call them pregnant pockets. How about I open the clips? And don't worry, this stuff is going to melt. And don't be scared to use the product. So... This is in the way. Hold on, y'all. Y'all can't. I can't do hair like this. There we go. And we're just going to twist and roll all the way to the top. And I like to work on a diagonal because I just feel like it's better. And we've been letting his hair get back full at the top. This is a new dread that Allison created. Shout out to Allison in Dallas. So I'm just training it to come all the way back. And what I'm doing is making sure that it doesn't have like pocket holes in it. So this is a new dread. It was really, really short. Oh wait, y'all can't see. This was a new dread that was really, really short. And so it's getting longer. And it's staying. So. And his hair dry and we don't have no spray bottle. <laughs> this is real life. So this is, I got a cup with some water because I really would have been, I'm, I do his hair super fast. And so I try to get the product in it. That way I could just roll and clamp. Roll and clamp. Roll and clamp. Rolling clean. So, I started doing locks um, when I first got out of beauty school. Mm -hmm. You were doing my locks in beauty school. Oh. I used to come to the school, remember? Oh, wow. Man, this man been with me forever. <laughs> I forgot. Make sure the hair is moisturized enough. I like to have it damp. And then you want to rub the product through the hair. And I feel like when I work on a diagonal... I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I get done quicker instead of working in like row by row. Oh, y'all can't see. I wish you could hear people. <laughs> I've been wanting too much from technology. This is retarded. Hold on, because I can't see y'all. I mean, I can't see like what I'm doing. So, are you sure they can see? I just looked. They can see. 
And really, his hair is too dry for my liking. I use the line by them. Let's see. No, it doesn't flake. It keeps the hair. Uh, smells great. Sure does smell good. I like the way it smells. But y'all, this is so ghetto because I don't have a spray bottle. But I want the hair to be wet. So. And so now we're just going to keep going. Can they see you move the camera? Okay, y'all, I'm having camera issues. Hold on. How about this? Oh, there we go. Boom, there we go. Now y'all can see. Look down, baby. So, I'm going to do a little Q&A once he goes under the dryer with you guys. So if you have any business questions, because what I'm really good at and what I find that I'm super passionate about is helping hairstylists get a lot of clients. And listen, I can't do the work for you, but one thing I can do is support you with using all the technology that we have available to us today. So one thing about locks, when people do his hair and they make it too tight, you know, ain't that many people doing his hair, but you can't make your hair too tight. You don't want to have it to work because when it's super tight, it starts to roll up and pocket and ball. And then you have those little bubbles on the dreads. Um, I'd rather the hair be loose because, again, you don't want to make people hair have too much tension. And a lot of rules for hair is just kind of like common sense. Like, I mean, we don't want him having Stevie Wonder. So, I mean, I love Stevie, but I don't want nobody's hair to be looked. I don't even understand why they make his hair look like that. Somebody at some point needs to say, hey, man, your hair is a little far back. And too tight. It's just, they don't have to be that tight. Like, as you age, your hair does not just bounce back like that. And you don't want to train it to be that way. And so... I just kind of work in sections. And then rub the hair, rub the product through the hair, like so that the, the lock itself is strong. And so you just keep doing it. Oops, that shouldn't be in there. See, now we got a whole little section that's done. What, the dryer is going to melt the product, which that's exciting. So don't stress about if you see product in the hair. Ooh, it's kind of fun doing hair on camera like this. Like, I mean, I know I do hair on camera, but... Hmm, let me just start doing some hair. Showing these people. Y'all know I have my short hair online classes that you could just watch. They're step by step. Or I'm just talking about short hair cutting. I love doing hair. I think I will always love it. No matter what is going on, it is relaxing. When I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> and it's my honeybee day, so hey, why not? So I like to just kind of get a few down in the line. Sorry, baby. Okay. Everybody got this on your face running now. He got his big old towel and ain't using it. You gotta use this, baby. Okay, sit back. That way, if you use wipe your face. <laughs> he has some water running down. Okay, I'll move this out the way. So his hair, Allison saw, Allison's in Dallas and she does locks. And she saw uh, some gaps, so she took some hair apart. She know how to take dreads apart. 
And rebuild them. And she put them, yeah, she made some new ones, basically. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. So he's, that's why those little, there's some little bitty short ones. Turn around, turn around, turn around. There's some little bitty short ones happening because she's rebuilding. Well, she already did it, so it's done. When it's a lot of hair, I do put more products. Um, it's a girl in my class. Her name is Yvonne. She's going on Facebook, Yvonne the Lock Specialist. She is all about locks. She's amazing. So see how I'm pulling this product through the hair? And then I'm just twisting. Okay, so just trying to make all his edges and stuff. Because barbers got excited and started freaking putting his edge up line. Fading it in, it was so that's that ghetto young stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. So let me scoot back because I cannot get over there. In black in general, being black is amazing. Look what you could do to the hair. Kind of crazy stuff. You just twisting and it just it just is. It just makes a whole hairstyle. The craziest thing ever. And it just works. It's like, wow. So, I'm just going to keep going. So when we get done, we're going to put this under the dryer. So far, I've tried like the olive oil. I've tried a lot of the Tawaki, would it have you say that one product. I've tried a lot of different products and I like the Jamaican lime, guys. And top is letting hair grow back. Folks just get the, you know, men clients, they don't question a lot. Folks get to doing stuff. Giving them instructions. They just follow the rules. Do you do a quick weave style video? I haven't, but I can. His style should have been gone, and Stevie needs to be bald. <laughs> Ivory dreads works also. I like the Jamaican line wax and gel together. Water is dripping on top. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> so, we just keep going. So, now we got that side done, and that was in 13 minutes. Now, this stuff will smooth out, and he's going to go get an edge up after this. Mm -hmm. So, but I like to twist the hair. Now, here's what I have been using, y'all. Oh, you can't see. It won't, you can't see it. But it's this, um, dang, it's just so white. It, you can't see the, the light because it's just the light's too bright. If you go close, it don't, it don't show. Anyway, it's the Jamaican. I mean, not Jamaican. It's the, uh, the, uh, how you that money? You don't have to hold it because you can't see it. It's the Collider. Oh, Collider stuff. Mm -hmm. And I like that product. So we've been putting that at the top of his head to bring, because you just can't put that much tension on people's hair. So, to bring your area back. Yeah. Okay, let's turn this chair a little bit. Which way? This way. Okay. Okay. So now we in the back. So I'm going to wet this. Y'all, you don't have no spray bottle. <laughs> don't be acting like we too good. It's about getting it done. Okay. <coughs> no coughing in my video. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, Top don't ever say nothing on camera. Off camera, he got plenty of trash to talk. Oh my you, God. You said no talking in your video. I didn't say don't talk in my video. I said no coughing. So, 
So once. Not a client fucking talk. <laughs> <laughs> what are you grateful for for your birthday? For me? <sighs> no, you too. <laughs> I'm grateful, first of all, that I'm alive. Boom. I'm grateful that I have you and my boys and my family in my life. And everyone's healthy. And I'm grateful that I have a job and, and that God is in my life. That's what I'm grateful for. Mm. <laughs> you think I'm cool, babe? I, I know you're cool. Oh. I trust that really cool woman in my life, though. You know, past, past the building today. <laughs> yeah, we, we too old for that. <laughs> Way too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a girlfriend, too. And I'm grateful that God is in motion because I'm extremely happy. <laughs> To create what we need. Come on now. God gave us the ability to create what we need. So thank you to the people. Thank God for creating people to come up with Tanisha says, yes, gratefulness. You know, although some of my siblings haven't said happy birthday. Maybe I missed it. Maybe they said <laughs> Well, you know, at this point, it's just about the big, the next big milestone birthday. <laughs> big what? Your next big milestone birthday. <laughs> That's gonna be the next big bash. Yeah, it's gonna be a big bash. Vegas style, baby, all white party. That'd be fun. I joined some dreads together. See, you have all this soft hair up here. I say good hair. So, once hair starts flipping over and stuff, you got to kind of like rearrange and go back down. Because when the hair starts to flipping and moving, then they start getting crinkly looking. So, what I'm going to do is just keep twisting. Grabbing up the new growth. Twisting to the right, making sure I'm pulling it down just a little bit so that it's not. Oh, I already had a clip. Hold this clip, baby. Please and thank you. So now, boom. I have got to go to the nail shop. Ladies, have you ever feel like you just do not feel like going? Like, I don't want to sit in there. I've offered three times, four times now. I know. It's not about the offer. It's just, I'm tired of looking at my raggedy nails. But. You just want to go with Purple Wind. I know, but I don't even want to go. I don't want that style anymore, first of all. So I just put these little drops in his hair. These kaleidoscope drops. Toby think he popping out because he got some photography skills. <laughs> so yeah, my goal with the dress has, is like they need to be full and healthy. So that's always my goal with hair. And so when I started doing his hair a long time ago, I just kept it healthy. It's so funny. Everybody here, all my family members and 
loved ones. You turn back around. Your head just look, there we go. That's always the goal. Let's just have healthy, beautiful hair because we quit to go put somebody else's hair on our head and dis and neglect the hair that we have. And y'all know we've been studying the prayer day bedroom. If we want God to enlarge territory, hair is a part of the territory. Sounds crazy, but it's just so true. Like my body is God's territory. My hair, you know, everything in my possession. And so if you think about the word territory, that's where kings, people that have property and land and all of that stuff. So we've got to manage that stuff. You just can't let stuff go to waste. And so just try to take care of your clients. <laughs> what? That's what my daddy said. <laughs> my daddy taught me so many basic life principles. I wish they had more stuff on black history just playing 24-7 for black people because the average person doesn't know. Like, the, Remember we watched that movie? Like most people don't know mm -hmm. those stories. If you knew those stories, you'd pull your pants up. You know what I'm saying? Like you. Teach our kids more. Yeah, like it's just not at the forefront. And February is not the only time we need to be talking about black history. Because black history is what built freaking America. <laughs> so like all these things, like well, black people was at the core of how things got done. Industries boomed. So. And hell yeah. <laughs> My favorite part in the movie was that guy said white people was not going to be working next to no black man. A black man who worked in the fields all from sun up to sun down for free. <laughs> hell no, I ain't competing and with him. Man, you cannot compete with that. That's a machine. Yeah, that's a machine. <laughs> and, and it's like if black people would just understand their power, they wouldn't want to be so ignorant to a lot of things. And I say that we, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just so much we're not. We could stop wars and crimes our dang self. People waiting on police. Police ain't gonna do nothing. They don't care. The Thirteenth Amendment was another way. They say, okay, y'all free, but we can put you in jail. Use that so let's keep you dumb. Let's keep giving you ignorant media. Keep selling you sex. Keep the dope in your community. Keep the keep the guns. liquor stores. Keep the guns. Keep the gangs. But we could solve our own problems. It's really never been about, oh, somebody come help. We waiting on somebody. And the wait is just us. If you really stay, really kept what happened in your actual conscious, you will naturally want to change. Somebody fought so you, you could be see, here. You see your worth and your power. Yeah. And you will see why you, you are target. Your brilliance. And, and seeing you're a target, you go the opposite way. Because there's a... There's something to be said about people that prey on black young men, but there's also something to be said about 2018 black young men still wanting to be thugs and walk around sagging. And, I mean, come on, man. Like, people, like, you're, there's so much opportunity to be smart and to learn. But I, I think there's more young black men trying to, trying a different way, trying to be educated, trying to do the things that they've ever been. Than there's ever been. Of course. Even more than, than what what the media portrays. Well, the so media is we not going to portray that. We have to get together and remind ourselves as a group that, you know... You got to show... Who we are. Exactly. Which means that there needs to be men in the communities right. going rack. Man, my uncle used to ride around and pick up young black boys to go to church and to go do... Like, you know, men don't do that now. Yeah. Plus, because the, the new youth, they ruthless as hell. So, all this whole YOLO and these dumb rappers they got that don't even speak good English... People have fought for good English, and you just like you know, I, to, just learn how to, read. to learn how to read, to learn, to be able to speak, to have the freedom you have, and it's like I do not know. I do not know. and everybody going nuts. I'm like, what are these people saying? It makes no sense. But you know, it's just uh, it's one of those things. Yeah, yeah who's that? That's the uh, oh the golf people. No, that's the alarm. That's the uh, emergency. Oh. Test, 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 they run the sirens. It was testing the alarm. Oh. 
We almost done. 25 minutes. <laughs> Your mom and them have, what is it called? Psoriasis? Mm-hmm. Or something? My mom's just Yeah, so like, I think it's hereditary. His hair loss. Yeah, they get it from, men get it from the, the female side of the family. Well, yeah. Anyway, I think it's, I just was looking at, I don't have anybody else to look at but your mom, so. Yeah, exactly. Definitely think um, hair loss. But I think that if we just keep managing, you know, what we got. Oh, I will cut it off. <laughs> yeah, and then guys that be watching, don't be ashamed to cut your hair off. I think ball is sexy. Sexy mother. Tony Chad Lane? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. saying right? Not what I'm saying is if Not you had to, I would still be like, ah. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this is exciting. This dread was really, really little. And now it's getting big. So we're almost done, guys. That was 25 minutes. When he go get his hair done, but other people be like, you got to move on it. Hold on a sec. We've been doing this for 25 minutes. Now, depending on people's... When I first started... Here's a good story. When I first started doing his hair, when I was in beauty school, it took me an hour. Mm-hmm. And then what I did was... The first time took an hour and 20 minutes. The very first time. See? And see, y'all, the thing about it is you've got to look at your timing all the time. I'm never not looking at my timing. When I'm doing hair. Because first of all, I need to know how long it takes me in general, right? And then I need to see if there's a way that I can speed the process without losing the quality or the long lastingness of the hairstyle. Some people just be doing hair. You ain't thought about how, you ain't watched no clock. When I was, (laughs) I, for some reason, I just became obsessed with time. And so I literally had timers at my station, timers by the dryers. I had a digital clock from the dollar store. I remember when I went and bought it. They're like, Keisha, why you got that? You got a cell phone? And I'm like, no. First of all, I need to see. I always need to know what time it is when I'm in the salon. Like, I always, because there's another client supposed to be walking in. Um, I need to see how long it took me to do a certain process. That's how I knew how long it took me to style hair. Because I just watched the freaking clock in front of me. And when clients said they came in at a certain time, I sat right by the door. So even when I was with the client... I was psycho. They be like, I got here it lies. I saw when you walked in <laughs> because I was looking at the it's clock. Important to improve yourself and the yeah. Imp- different aspects of it. Yep. Getting faster and keep, keeping the quality on that. It just makes yeah. it better. You can just, just makes it better for you. Period. More people. You get what more clients. What I joined together? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is it. Okay. I joined some of the drinks together, y'all. Midnight Oh, sorry. Dang, honey. Sing us a song. Hmm? I just sing us a song. I don't know that song in the head. Why do you always do that? So annoying. I didn't think you were serious. He don't ever want to sing. Y'all know, y'all tell me to sing, I'm gonna sing. (laughs) With the mic. (laughs) Exactly. I walk around with a mic. What is this supposed to go? This is supposed to go here. This is really you. This is part of your personality. I'm ready. You're always on stage. Ready like Freddy. My lashes are the same. Where is this hair going? Okay, I'm just going to put it right here. So, I joined this together. These were two dreads. And I was like, okay, no. We're not going to hold on for dear life this way. We're going to become one. Boom. So, yeah, but anyway, I always have a clock. So, that way I know I can predict. You know, your client call, you like, um, how much, how long? People get irritated when the clients say how long, but you're really just trying to figure out so you can make plans for your day. Some clients try to be petty. Check them. But in general, I don't need to know how long you're trying to have me up in this hair shop. So, I have no problem when someone asks me that because... I don't want to be nowhere all day, and I want them to be looking at me all day, because I have things that I want to do as well. Oh, so. I know. I know, because you just tell me a shampoo and a style tip. Um, I'll be there. I 
drive a car 15 minutes. Two minutes. I mean. Yeah, two, two minutes for shampoo. I would do a two minute scrub. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, some people be like, girl, that's a little. Okay, well, that's just how I did it. I did like a two minute, like, and I really gave a really good shampoo. People be like, oh my God, that felt so good. Give a good shampoo. Move on down to the conditioner. And so that is all of the locks. So I like to loosen them up just a little bit when I'm ready to put them in the dryer and then move some of the clips around. Sorry, I'm my ear. <laughs> yeah, the clips burn the clients, guys. Again, you don't want them to be tight. So, it's like it's annoying. But we need it. I do not like when the dread rolls up and it's a little tight in my pants. Okay, so now he's gonna go under the dryer. So, turn around. Just gonna go under the dryer and then we're gonna get the edge up. But as you can see, first of all, I just cut his hair off. Like I cut off that much hair. He had a heart attack. I don't know why, because look how long it is. It's right back. How long is Let's put the wrap strip. Yep, the wrap strips on the hair. Um, You know, the only reason I don't do him like that because that's kind of like, you know, you put some foam or some oil and then put the wrap strips. But he just don't be caring about all that. I know this is a different show, but I just had, I watched this morning's tea. Had to stop by and give you a shout to say thank you. And yes, my name's on it. Hey, go Elizabeth. Keisha, were you ever into doing nails? Yep, I love doing nails. Let me tell you something. I actually did, okay, let me get the dryer for you, baby. I actually did, um, y'all, I did everything. When I tell you everything, like I was so into all things i still am i love beauty i could do the dip nails i could do acrylic for i remember for one of my birthdays top was like what do you want for your birthday all i wanted was everything nails so i bought he bought <laughs> acrylics everything and i was so happy honey you can get your dryer oh, okay. and so um um what else um oh yeah and we don't have wraps i have no hair stuff here except for like st like stuff that, that, I don't have no hair stuff. So he about to get the dryer and get it the dryer. Um, honey, hey, get the dryer. We gotta keep on the time frame. Oh. Oh, I didn't know so he's, he's gotta get the dryer. So <clears throat> what was the question? Let me see. But thank you, Melba. Yes, I know keeping the wrap strips. You can do that with like weaves, with dreads. He got the little BBs. We letting him grow back. But when he get his edge up, all oh, that'll be calm. Um, all that hair. And I don't have nothing here. I need to go buy stuff. I don't have hair stuff here. What movie y'all talking about? Oh, the movie is Up From Slavery. Up from slavery. Let me show y'all. Well, it's got to it's gotta melt down. There go. It's got to melt down. Y'all see the cut we did? ADD. <laughs> this is what we did the other day in short hair boot camp. She cute. This has no blow. We didn't even curl this with a curling iron. We just did this cute little messy little fun. We wanted this little accent piece. So we had this up in a triangle. And so this can go that way. Like pivot point everything. How I make it go back this way? And she wanted in her face. Uh oh. It won't go over there. Anyway, because I blow dried it the other way. But you can see there's an undercut there. Oh. 
He's under the dryer. This dryer sucks. I got it, babe. No, I like, it. I like for it to lean like that. <laughs> he got a whole system. God's got a plaster with your name on it. Sing, babe. With your name on it. <laughs> so, um, do you have a shop? Uh, I don't do hair anymore. I only teach online. Um, so, nope, no shop. Haven't had a shop since 2016. And uh, I want to get one to play in, but not to like just do hair all day. Oh, God, no. No. I'm just such, I love to make things work. Like, I'm obsessed with how things work. So, once I realized it's like unlimited potential i was like oh my god i gotta teach everybody so then i started teaching everybody so let's last year um was my first year completely all my income was from doing hair so that's exciting because i mean it's one thing to make six figures in a salon but to do it online with new territory with people like that was a big accomplishment for me um it was always a dream took a long time and now it's like time to make the millions and so I'm very excited um, to teach business because most people are struggling. All you need to know how to do is one thing. Um, and I learned how to do one thing. Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, boy. So, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, I'm always messing with him. You had a little twinkle in your eye. You think I'm cute? He think I'm cute. No. I was looking to see, I, I don't, I was like, I hate when you cover up the freckles because that's just from that Oh, he said he want my freckles. Well, I don't cover them up. They just go away with the makeup. You can still see some. Okay, so anyway. Um, LOL, haha. <laughs> that's my boo, y'all. You. Oh. They laugh. Um. So, Top used to come get this. The reason why I'm doing dreads on my channel, first of all, I can do all hair. And I just feel like that there was a secret that I learned uh, with, like, with, with silk wraps, for example. Is it loud? I'm, that thing is loud. There was a secret that I learned when I was doing silk wraps. The sun is deceiving. I know. Oh, it's not bad. Look at the golf course. Oh, she... Beautiful day on the golf course. Normally, there's a bunch of people out. I want to perfect stove, Marcel. See, everything that I had to learn, I think that God have you experience things for a reason. So, like, if you think, if I think about Marcel's, I was so afraid of them. I lit the, 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 what you call it? The stove, like the stove, I literally, it caught fire. And so, <laughs> when I was in beauty school, and I was like, never again. But then I said, no, I have to do it. And so I would just try. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Tell us the secret you learned. So here's what I learned. With anything that you want to learn, you just have to allocate a certain amount of practice hours to it. I know it's simple, and but it's just, it's just the way it goes. Can y'all hear me? So you have to allocate a certain amount of practice hours. So when I was scared of the Marcells, I literally had to let go of the idea that I needed to be good at every other hairstyle. And I said, I'm about to practice Marcel's. Boom. I didn't try to figure out if Marcel's were my future. I didn't try to figure out if, oh, you know, I'm going to miss out on weaves. I just said, you know what? Let me practice Marcel's. And so every day, watch people do hair. And 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning. And then I would come back to beauty school and I would have her come once a week. And when she would come, I would like, okay, this is what I learned this week. And so I practiced on her. Now, before she got to me, I had that one person that believed in me. Um, before she would come, I would use that, that Deborah mannequin. I hate that mannequin, but I used it. I didn't know there was a better mannequin actually at the time. So, but I knew her hair wasn't like black people, but I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna have to just use it. So I would use the Deborah mannequin and I would just like do, you know, hair there. And so, your computer? Sure. Okay, so. I would do hair with the Deborah mannequin and then it just started working. Hold on, y'all. Where's my iPad? Okay. Ooh. 
Hold on, y'all. Gotta find my iPad. So I would do hair with the Deborah mannequin and then Suzanne head was terrible. Why? So I would do hair with the Deborah mannequin and then I, I just practiced on her when she came in. So, hold on. So I'm getting top haircut. It's his birthday. Um, so anyway, that's how I got good at it. So the thing about Marcel's, I did the same thing. I practiced Marcel every day for an hour and a half. Yep. And so you just got to be willing. Most people are not willing to do that. Most people are not willing to practice. They're not willing to put in time. You get discouraged. You know, you do a client and then you're like, oh my God, I failed. And so then you just go try to do something else. But you have to be willing to stick with it. Period. Point blank. And you'll realize that, um, you know, when you practice with other people, uh, the more you do what you're practicing, you'll realize, oh, I learned that. Okay. And so then each time you get a little better and a little better and a little better. And sometimes you feel like you're not getting anything, but you still got to just practice. So that's just the way that it goes. And, um, yeah, what else? Tell us a secret you learned. What secret? But the whole thing is like you have to just practice. That was my my secret was always just practice, 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 practice. Crazy practice, practice, practice. Like that was just the thing that I would do. All the hold on. All my assistant posting stuff. Hmm. Oh. I love it. Works happening. Works happening. So let me make sure that they know this me. So anyway, works happen. Sorry, I'm looking at my iPad. So anyway, y'all, I'm just chilling, waiting on his hair to dry. We're going to go get a haircut. Um, definitely practice. I used to do nails. And let me tell y'all, I would do nails like designs. Like I could do full-blown acrylic. I knew how to, I mean, everything. Does people, I have appointments at school. I know how to do a bomb pedicure before I ever got to beauty school. I learned pedicures when I was in, uh, I learned pedicures when I was in, uh, what was I in? That was high school. I was banging them pedicures in high school. And so, um, yep, did pedicures. I would go to the store and buy my nails and all that stuff and make sure do my French tip on my toes. I had the cutest toes. People used to call me pretty toes in school because... I hate wearing, to this day, I don't like covering my toes up because I just like my toes. I got big feet, like, I need my toes to be out, okay? So, I really don't like to cover my feet up. And so, I just, I was very upset. To this day, I'm the, I like my toes to be pretty. So, I would spend time painting them pink and white with designs. And people would be like, who did your toes? And I'd be like, me. So, then they would be like, do mine. I'd be like, okay, I'll do the designs. So, people would just come. Let me do their designs. And we would just do it outside because my mama hated fingernail polish in the house. She don't like the smell. My mama was so picky. Anyway, so I learned how to do the nails because I studied it. And then I learned how to do the dreads because my honey had it. And I was like, I'm tired of people messing up your hair because he was going to all these people and it was putting gel in his hair and he had gel all over the pillow and his hair just wasn't right. So I was like, I'll take over. So then when I started doing his dreads, people start asking me to do their kids dreads and stuff. So then I started doing dreads and um then i started doing i was doing short hair once i learned my little short hair style my signature look it took me to the top baby people start coming to me for that and then you know people just assumed that because i knew how to do hair, short hair i could do long hair so then long hair people started coming and i mean hair is hair to me you just read the book understand the hair is a structure understand the chemistry of how things work and you just take care of the hair and so that's how I got it. You know, that's how I just got better. I was always obsessed with taking care of the hair and then giving a nice, you know, healthy, shiny result. So I just sought after that. And I always ended up finding the information or finding the trick or the tool to assist me. You know, I saw an ad this morning and it was talking about a flat iron makes the hair shiny. I was like, no, hair need to be shiny from the inside out. OK, a flat iron is a uh, uh, that's a plus. But the hair needs to be the, the flat irons do give a sheen to the hair because of the different plates but in general your hair needs to be healthy and shiny because it is not because like i have people my clients 
the hair be shining before any flat iron ever touches it. When it's wet, you can just tell that it's healthy when it's wet. When you touch people's hair and it's wet and it feel like mush, the hair is not strong. It does not have integrity. You have to build that hair up with protein treatments, with less chemicals, with like nourishing shampoos and conditioners. So hair care is important. I should start a hair care line. Like why? But I'm just not. I'd rather stand behind one that I love. Like I love influence. I wish, you know what? I ain't no wish. I need to call them and work that deal out. Like when I was in school, we did pedicure, manicure. Nobody in class wanted to pedicure. I credit didn't have to do manicures, so I got two for one. I know that's right. I'm about to order some stuff. I love influence. I love them. I love them. I love them. Oh yeah, I need to hit them up and say, yo, who y'all got as the front man? Cause I bet they not gonna sell like I sell. Period. Point blank. What's your favorite line? Influence. All day, every day. Steam flat iron. Mm, I had one. I was like, no thanks. Some stuff is like, I like tools that I can just like roll with, like. The tools that have never failed me for years is the Babyliss flat irons, the Babyliss blow dryers, Influence product line. I liked, um, for my natural people, I would use, um, what is that line? I see the bottle. Gosh, I see the bottle in my head. Purology? Let me look it up. This shampoo, it was in the copper bottle. It was in like a copper bottle. This shampoo could silk the heck out some hair. But then they changed something, as companies always do. So then I was using like the Thermo Silk, or Thermo, Thermo Smooth shampoo from Mizani. Um, Thermo, I don't like Mizani relaxers. I think they're too harsh on the hair. Thermo Smooth, I think it's the shampoo. And Redken used to have a smoothing shampoo. It was in the copper, they always in copper bottles, Thermo Smooth. Let me see. But these shampoos used to give me the silkiest blowouts. Whew. They'd be silky. And then I liked, um, what's that other one? I never got into Carol's Daughter, all that stuff. Because I feel like the natural women, they wanted their hair straight. Look, they want to keep their, they want to wear their hair straight two, you know, two weeks or whatever. I had some people that would come once a month for the, to get their hair straightened. And it was healthy. It wasn't overheated. All this, my heat, my hair pattern. People just find it. Y'all bored. They real bored, in my opinion. Because when all of a sudden, this is the new rule. So what y'all been, like, I don't understand. Anyway, so I don't worry about that. Never have, never will. My mama is natural. When I flat out my mom's hair, actually, um, I let the lady put a, put the relaxer on, take it off. So she's not natural, natural like that anymore. But still, when you flat out her hair, it's natural. Okay, Thermo, Thermo Smooth Shine Extend. I love this for, um, let me show you guys. I love this. Okay, so that's dope. And then let me show you guys Pureology. Let me see if they still have it. Pure, oh, that's shampoo, boy. It's luxurious. It is amazing. See, when you charge it for those blowouts, blowouts are not cheap. Okay, so Pureology, they have the smoothing shampoo. Uh, let me find it. They changed the color of the bottle. See, this was like an anti-freeze. Let me see. But it's a definitely, Pureology shampoos are luxurious and they're just amazing. I love them. And they make the hair so flowy and free and they just enhance the shine. I love their smoothing shampoos. Um, what other smoothing shampoos did I use? There we go. It's this one. Hold on, y'all. It's this one. I don't know why. It's the pink one. I mean, the copper. This one right here, babe, it smells amazing. And it makes the hair just detangle. Oh, my God. I love it. I'm in love with this shampoo. Absolutely top notch. Look at my nails. They're disgusting. Absolutely amazing. I don't know what this is, but it's, it says concentrated oil. Probably why. I don't know. But it is, this shampoo is amazing for blowouts. Oh my God. It is, I mean, I'm telling y'all, it's the bomb. I used to be the blowout queen. Like, I'm, it's like my career as a hairstylist had so many phases. At one point, people was coming to me for um, blowout. I was like, I'm, and we didn't call it blowout. It was silk out or just getting your hair pressed. Right? But, ooh, honey, that shampoo is, when I tell you everything, and then Redken has one. Man, something making my oh, you know, I should take a nasal pump. Oh, I went outside. I gotta take I have allergies, y'all. 
I had to like get ahead of before I can't breathe and see in a minute. Um, so I'm cooking my honey a steak dinner because he won't steak. I'm tired of steak, but okay. Red can smoothing. Let me get y'all some products, y'all. I love teaching y'all. I be teaching this. I love talking to y'all. Can I just tell y'all that's so random? And it's not like I don't have anything to do because I have plenty of things to do. Trust me. But I just love talking to y'all. Um, there we go. Smooth down. This is why I used to use this Redken. I don't think they make it anymore. That's probably why it's $59. Thank you, Melba. I love you too. So this is the Redken Smooth Down. Trust me, y'all. This right here is amazing shampoo. And it really, man, I miss my, my cousin was my assistant. When I tell you he and I had everybody here, we had our, my clients, people to this day hit me up. And Dallas like, Keisha, my hair has not been the healthiest since you did it. Because you know why? Most stylists are compromising. They don't make it anymore. Yep. I knew they stopped. We, then we start using Pureology. Most stylists are always compromising and rushing and at work tired and stressed out and so you don't give clients your best give people your best i'm gonna always give you my best and if it sucks i'm gonna still be working to get better hold on y'all let me see if my honey here so hold on hold on bubba i don't like when the dreads start balling up and crinkling up. So we're doing good. So I like to check and see. Y'all honey bun. Um what was the Mazani one? Thermo smooth. Hold on. What about conditioners? So my favorite conditioners. Um, okay, my all-time favorite that they do not make anymore that I just, my feelings was hurt. Like, who told y'all? Look at the creepy mannequin in the back. Who told y'all to stop making this is the humectus. It was humectant. I love humectant conditioners. Oh, my God. Amazing conditioners. Now, I used to do, it's a, when it's a 10 came out, I like it's a 10. It's a 10 is nice. Now, that it's a 10 leave-in spray, you cannot spray that all over everybody's head because it will give your hair a film. I can't stand. Listen, a silk out need to be silky. When you shake your head, if that hair is not flowing like a Caucasian, like European people, then it's not right, okay? The hair needs to flow. If it does not flow, then it's not a go, okay? That is the rule, and you have to learn how to figure that out. Like, And it has a lot to do with your products, and then it has to do with your flat iron capabilities because, or your pressing capabilities because I'm telling you, I don't have... All kinds of, um, I've had all kinds of clients with hair textures. I'm talking about kinky Negro, like mine. Like my hair, if it gets real balled up and like stock. It just, ooh, it gets, he loud. It gets a lot. You under the dryer, he can't hear you. He talking to his, his brother. Anyway, so you have to be very, very careful with the conditioners and silk outs because conditioners can leave a film if a conditioner is too heavy for the hair it will leave a film so i like um it's a 10 shampoos i really like them i really do like them they're nice for but then you still need moisture so the thing about it, i'm trying to pull up the stuff so i can show y'all pictures this is it's a 10 they have shampoos y'all know it's a 10 uh they have shampoos I actually would put this in my short hair clients, but only just a little. Lightly, lightly, lightly. Let me find my favorite conditioners. I don't think they make this no more. Nude Expressions. Let me see if I can find it. New. Ooh, this was my favorite. It was like crack. Care Care used to have humid conditioner, but it changed. Mm. I hate people change stuff because, like, this, I'm talking about this stuff. It will make the hair just. Just make it just. If you don't care, if you don't get that excited about hair, then you just, I just get excited. Straight up. New expressions. Oh, they got the Sumo app. I know that's right. Okay, what's wrong with your website though? I know, oh, it's taking too long to load. It's driving me nuts. You know what? I like new expressions. In you expressions. But where is there? Yes, I used, 
I used to love the Affirm. I like Affirm products. I'm going to just tell y'all. So when I got to LA, I didn't have distributors. So I had to use Affirm. And I actually fell in love with Affirm. Affirm is amazing. Like, I like their... But I still needed my stuff. I still needed my influence. Um, protein treatment, nothing out does that so far. Nothing. I've tried. Go on, try me. I done tried it. No, influence protein treatment, best. it's crack. It is crack to the hair. It will build your client's hair. They will love you. They will trust you. They will be team you, okay? Because you help them. So, I can't find this conditioner. Now, of course, care, care, conditioner, decent, right? But the thing is, don't put a lot of conditioner in people's hair. Like, it'll just leave flakes and be weighty. Put the conditioner on. It only takes, like, a little bit. And then you just rub it and comb it through the hair. Let it sit for a minute or two. Take it off unless you're doing deep conditioner. My favorite, favorite deep conditioner is um, Influence. It's their, um, uh, what's the name of it? i got to get the proper name. Influence. What is that conditioner? It's brown. It come in a jar. Um, okay, either it's the internet or it's my... Let me turn off, get off Wi-Fi because I think it's something happening here. It's the... Because new expressions, y'all, didn't come up. Their website was doing the most. The, if your website's so busy that... Nothing come up? That's not good. Okay, foam wrap. Where is the conditioner? Okay, I like their hair and scalp conditioner too. This works. Y'all can retail this. For your clients who got itchy scalp, this works amazing. I'm telling you, you will be like, oh my God. What happens is their hair starts to even grow. I had a lady whose hair was hard and coarse. Don't look at my nails, y'all. I mean, I know you're going to look at them, but oh, Jesus Christ, I'm going to get them done. But this stuff right here, actually, when she started using this, her hair got soft. And it was growing in her thin spots. She lived by this. And this is a retail product. If you're not retailing... What are you doing? Retail. So, let me find their conditioner that I'm talking about because I absolutely love it. And it is, so I love their hydrating. If your clients have fine hair, you want to give them hydrating, okay? Hydrating is not as heavy as their moisturizing conditioner. Why? Because there's just more, more moisture in the shampoo. So, if it's extra moisture, that means on fine hair, it could be heavier okay so they also have the stimulating conditioner how do y'all stop y'all can't be out of stock multiplex there it is multiplex my fave that conditioner is amazing 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 favorite conditioner multiplex okay so how y'all gonna be out of products that can't happen come on people hydrating conditioner i love it but yeah i pretty much would stick to this um a firm had a conditioner that i would use i really like um the care care that blue conditioner the one that's for dandruff, I just like that conditioner all the time. Like, I love that conditioner because it's just so light and soft and silky. Sometimes it'd be too silky on the hair. So, the Care Care conditioner that's in the blue, the blue, the, the dry, itchy conditioner that they have, it only takes a little piece. You don't need to put a whole bunch. That little piece just makes the hair silky. Um, I like the the regular Care Care. It don't do nothing fancy. It's just, it, it's nice conditioner. Um... And remember, conditioners put moisture back in the hair after the shampoo strips out the uncleanliness, right? And so, I love the Multiplex by Influence. I love their hydrating conditioner. Clients, if you have clients that buy retail, which you need to train them to if they don't, um, you'll just find that everybody loves the hydrating because it's light. It makes their hair flowy. It's not too heavy. It's really, really nice. You know, I really could be selling this stuff. I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do. So, uh, I'm going to have to just... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some retail and just try to sell it live on a live stream and see how that works. Because I feel like y'all will be buying this stuff right now. <sighs> so, anyway. And I love foam wrap. Like, Influence foam wrap, my fave. Absolute fave. I love it. I think it's a higher quality. I like high quality stuff because I feel like you're going to get high quality results. Influence takes their time with that um, product line. And they're just amazing. Doop. Barbers, who can you influence? Oh, that's cute. Influence is really trying to be like, I love it. They got the conditioner relaxer. They have the pre-treatment. I love Influence. Y'all need to look at their website. It's bomb. They got the natural products. I love them. Okay. I love Affirm too, so. Hmm. What was the Mazzani one? Therma Smooth. Therma Smooth. Therma Smooth. They have the Shines Humidity Spray. I love it. Humidity Spray. So what time is it? Because we're supposed to be doing something. 
So, that's all. Um, let me check on the honey. Do you like drugstore? Um, I don't know of any off the top of my head. Well, let me just be real, real though. My mom. Hold on. My mom. Let's be all the way clear. At my mama house, we don't have nothing. Besides, I just had to go. But I had to go to the store and buy a blow dryer and a. Um, this what I like to do, y'all. Halfway through, I like to take these out because they start balling up. Uh, I went to the to the store and went to buy a blow dryer from like the little Asian beauty supply. And it was cool because I had dark and lovely shampoo. And I had, and I will tell you this, my mommy hair was bomb and shining and clean. I used a $10 flat iron. And I really should put my mommy on here when I do her hair. So, so y'all. mom is back here with the good hair though. No, my mama don't have, my mama have, um, <laughs> yeah, <what I> <laughs> yeah. My mama don't have like hair like that. I mean, her hair did well, first of all, because it's in good condition. Good hair. I know. But she, but I'm just saying, I don't do cheap products like that and it worked. So because I have, there are rules when you know you're using a cheap product. So because that flat iron is cheap, it don't even get hot enough. It's like, boo. But I made sure I took my time with the sectioning. So anytime you're silking out, the main number one thing you don't want to do is um, freaking take big old chunky sections. Like you can't, and then don't put heavy products in the hair. If you're looking for the hair to flow, Get that Mazzani humidity spray. Guys, you got to trust that the hair is going to make its own oils. You got to put oil in here, yeah, but the hair still will make its own oil. So, boom. Now, I could style his hair. I think I will. Honey, you want to style or you want to wear it straight? I'm going to style it. See if you can do it. Okay, y'all. Let's try to style it. Let's see what happens. Because <laughs> I don't know about this because that's not my thing. Hey, what are you doing? I didn't do anything. What was that sound? The table. Oh. <laughs> I pushed the table back. I didn't do anything. Didn't so. Do anything. Oh, I turned my head. Oh, I see. Let's see. You have to sit up. Oh, hi. So let's see, guys. I'm about to. Let's see. I need. To... I should have watched some tutorials. Maybe you should watch one and come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, we about to get this done. We got things to do. Okay, so let me show y'all the hair. Bunny. Oh, turn to the side. So, there's the hair. Perfectly fine. Make this go up. I can't make this go up. There we go. Don't lean over. So, that's the outcome of the locks. Nice and clean. Let us go and begin to do some. Oh, maybe I should go like this. Hmm. So what I normally do is put these little things, but I think what I should be doing is like making a little palette. Hopefully y'all can see. Because what I normally like to do, I've been trying, well, I ain't did it but two times. So I normally don't do this, but his hairstylist be doing this. She is all the way beyond talented, so I definitely ain't trying to take nobody's job. Can y'all see? Oh, Lord, let me see if y'all can see. Can y'all see? Let me see. Maybe I'll come back this way. I'm just coming back. Okay. So now, take some from that side. Then I'm going to take some from this side. Ooh. And then just keep it in the middle. And then take some from this side. And then take some from this side. So guys, I'm about to leave something. Ooh, this look cute. Hmm. 
Is this even? Hey. All right now, boy. Get it, get it on the floor. Get it, get it. Okay, now I don't know what to do. Okay, wait. <laughs> y'all, see, y'all can try this kind of stuff. Okay, that one's too far down. So let me, I need to take this one. Okay. All right, Keisha. Look at Travis. What? My birthday news. Happy motherfucking birthday. <laughs> To MF, because uh, he said that's how I talk. <laughs> that is how y'all talk cuss a lot. No, I don't. Boy, did you just lie? Oh, so I'm about to just make up something. Okay, wait. So, in order for this to stay down, okay, y'all, I'm just making it up. See, some of y'all be scared. I can't do this. I don't do dress. Honey, I'm going to figure it out. Now, let me see how this makes sense. This part needs to come back over here. So if I take this one. Oh, snap. So, I'm just playing in my honey's head because I uh, hope this turned out cute. Yeah. Okay, hold your head up. All right, now. Black people lie out. <laughs> yeah, All right. Person, this black person. Mm -hmm. this Get black. it. On the floor. Don't blame it on all of us. It is. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't know. So we'll see how this works. Let me try to braid it. What y'all saying? Are y'all on here? <laughs> But see, see, dreads is fun to me because it's kind of like random, so. Just kind of just do some stuff, and it still looks cool. Mm. Okay, there we go. All right now. <laughs> Cause this is my birthday. No, it's not. But no, look good though. How come? I Put some fun in your attitude. You gotta let her relax. Ooh. Yeah, baby, show me what you want. You gotta lay it back. Learn how to lay it back. I don't know, I just make up shit now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good. My whole thing with this, y'all, because here's what I was trying to do. He had those short dress in the front. So I wanted to not have... <laughs> not bad. Turn around, babe. Look down so I can see that. Hold on. Let me come out this thing. So, see, that's not bad. I'm just trying to keep the hair. Okay. Look up. It's too dark. Learn how to lay it back. Mm -hmm. Really? There we go. Boom. Now we done. Excuse that junky mess back there. <laughs> she said don't show it. 
That's all I your junk. About, that's um, all your junk, you miss. Yeah, it is. So there's the look. And all I did was push this together and then tie a knot. Cause I was like, I want to. How does the knot look? Is it neat? Yeah, it's just a knot. Yeah, so I'm gonna make you redo it. I'm not paying you for this. You sure ain't paying me for this. I'm gonna get it right. So you better be grateful. See, there we go. I think it looks great. What y'all think, YouTube? Looks nice. See? Thanks, LaChique. See the little baby dread we got right there? We got to keep that one going down. And there it is. Thank you. Thanks for being our uh, hair model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, how much y'all you? Let me get this thing paid for. I'm in a hurry. I gotta go. You ain't got nowhere to be. <laughs> okay, uh, y'all. Peace out. Bye.